welcome to Beautiful Toy Reviews. This is a very special doll I'm going to be doing. The Scarlet McCall Barbie. She's the only one of her collection. She was released in 2008. She's just dressed in kind of an attire inspired by the Scarlet McCall bird. This is what the cover of the box looks like. It's beautifully, beautifully done. So three colors. Now she's a gold label Barbie collector's item, which means they only release a few, um, well, they tell you on the back of the box. Here, I'll show you. So this is the back. They show you the different labels and what they stand for. The most common ones you see at the store for collector's items are pink label, and they're very common. See an invitation to collecting available where Barbie dolls are sold. And the next step above that is the silver label, and it's keepsake dolls with no more than 50,000 produced worldwide. So there's a little less of that. Obviously, that'd be a little more expensive. And the gold label is the numbered editions of 25,000 worldwide or less available at select retailers and the least is the platinum label see of less than 1,000 worldwide available at select retailers top so the cover is like a tropical look it just kind of it's like a lid so if you want to display this thing you have to put this the top of the lid underneath like I had it so read the back the Scarlet McCall Barbie doll oh yeah you can actually look at that I'll give you a description And the designer of this is Linda Yaw. There's lots of doll designers that work for a Barbie collector. She's just one of them. I love her work. So I removed the plastic covering. And this is what the inside of the lid looks like. I have not removed her from her box. So this is what her original position is. Her nails are kind of painted black and kind of long like claws. Claws of a parrot, of course. So every part of this outfit is to represent the beauty of the Scarlet Macaw. It would have been wonderful if they would have done a, the blue Macaw parrot. Wouldn't that have been nice? It would have just been all blue. I just, these feathers are so soft. And she stands, so she's kind of like a clear plastic stand. Okay, so I just took her out of the box. And no, I was not planning on wearing red for this video. It just kind of happened. <laughs> Now I didn't remove the bird because it's it's gonna it's gonna have a hard time staying on. He's tied down by a thread. Girl or boy, I don't know how to say he. So you notice she's got ruby colored earrings that just drape. Let's get that in the front there. There. She's got her head kind of accented with this big, <laughs> just kind of like this big hump that just kind of goes up. 
I think that's supposed to accent the head of a parrot. I don't know the reasons behind a lot of this. But you can figure out a lot of it yourself. It's kind of like this mesh and then kind of like a sheer material underneath it. The gold chain that is attached to this parrot's foot is like can go behind her arm or kind of in front. See, it's attached to this bracelet. The other one's just kind of on its own. But these here just kind of match that gold chain look to make it very fashionable looking, to just kind of blend in. So you don't necessarily see the fact that this parrot is tethered <laughs> to her arm. Of course, we got rhinestones here, some black rhinestones. Heavy makeup, fiery red hair. Probably one of my favorite parts of this is the how the jewelry is just meant to just blend right in. How you do take the cord and jewelry to make it look as all part of a fashion thing. So we got a lot of feathers. And a little bit is coming off, but that's, that's perfectly normal. All right, here's a better look at her shoes. This is how her feet stand. The legs do not bend, and her waist does not turn. And her shoes have these little feathers on them. And her toenails are also painted black, just like her fingernails. So we've got two rhinestones. we got a yellow rhinestone and a bigger red. Red one, see? And her nails are black, just like her toenails, but they're kind of painted up like that, just like a parrot's, just like parrot's claws. So I think it's beautifully done. She also has these long eyelashes that are rooted. Just kind of go out right there. And I just put her on the stand, just kind of a standard black stand. So you just put her up neatly on a shelf. Now, if you, if you want to view a lot of dolls, um, you just go to barbiecollector.com and view a lot of the dolls that they have done in the past. And if you cannot get them, you can always go to secondary sources like I did. I got her on eBay for a good price. Remember, this is gold label, so usually they're around $100 or so, depending on what, what type of doll, the way it's designed, or whatever. But gold label, it just kind of gives you uh, a general perspective. And behind this background, you find the stand and the Certificate of Authenticity.